What on earth? Please tell me it was the dogs. I mean, I would like to say that it was, but I wouldn't want to give them the credit that I deserve. Samir Bhavnani, a mad scientist in the form of a life lesson YouTuber. Now we've covered plenty of Samir Bhavnani's videos on this channel, but today we are about to witness what might just be his greatest work yet. So the other day I went on Samir Bhavnani's channel for a little bit of a wellness check, and this video, well, uh, you could say it caught my eye, with the title of Why Life copies Amber Heard regrets it. Now obviously I see a Samir Bhavnani video titled something as wild as this, naturally I'm gonna have to click it. And I will say I was not disappointed. I'm not gonna spoil how the wife in this video decides to copy Amber Heard. I will however say it was not what I was expecting going into this and I think that was a good artistic choice. Granted it might not be the greatest experience for the viewer but hey when has that ever mattered? Well, in the case of watching Life Lesson channels, the answer to that question would be never. So let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Hey, honey. We need to talk. I've got something great I gotta tell you. You do? That's great. Well, before you start, I actually have a surprise waiting for you in the bedroom. Wow, Amy. <laughs> I've seen a really stressed side of you lately but this is your way of saying sorry, that's really sweet of you. I don't really know how much I'm gonna go into the sort of poor taste quality there is in making a comedic life lesson video based off something like the relationship history of Amber Heard and Johnny Depp, but I would like to acknowledge that I am aware of that. Don't really know how I feel about it yet. Me sorry? <laughs> okay, sure. Why don't you go in the bedroom and check out your little surprise that I have waiting for you, alone. Really? Oh. I can't wait to see it. I'm so excited. Hurry up. It's best when it's freshest. Alright, so if you are not a person who cares about celebrity relationship drama, aka what I would consider a normal person, this censored object is supposed to be, um, a turd. Yeah, Johnny Depp found a herd turd in his bed once, and I'm assuming that's what this is referring to. So, uh, yeah. Amy. What on earth? Please tell me it was the dogs. I mean, I would like to say that it was, but I wouldn't want to give them the credit that I deserve. Uh, Amy, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with me? What is wrong with you? Uh, you know what? I would kind of agree with her here for a second. Different reasons for sure. If you see a human turd in your bed, why, just why would you pick it up? And then you decide to rinse it down your kitchen sink? That is going to smell for weeks. What do you mean? You're broke. You don't do anything for me. You come home from work and you lie your head on the pillow and you pass out. You don't get me any nice things. What I left for you on that bed is exactly what I think you are. I mean, I'm not broke. The mortgage is fully paid off and, and I come home and fall asleep because, because I'm working all day. Well, that's not enough. I want Gucci and Prada and first class trips to Asia every month. We'll get there. Okay, I know that some people are very materialistic, and Gucci bags and trips to Asia might be what they marry somebody for, but generally speaking, those are the things you kinda make sure the person you're marrying already has the funds for before you decide to marry them for them. I mean, if that's your goal in life, you're probably not gonna marry just some average Joe hoping that on some sort of whim he makes it big. I'd imagine you'd have a low ROI on that plan. Amy. I am patient. Last week I cooked you that nice steak dinner and you didn't even bother to show up. I had to toss everything out. I was working late. I've been trying to tell you that, Amy. Yeah, and I work too. Sometimes later than you do. And I'm still supportive. Right. About that, Amy. This is a sensitive topic to discuss. What is? You're working late and you've come home drunk. 
Not this again. Your jealousy is suffocating me. I know the video is trying to be serious right now, but I'm kind of getting distracted by the fact that pretty much every other subtitle is somehow wrong. Not even joking, if you aren't reading the captions, start. Was somebody given one playthrough on low volume to caption this bad boy? And you know what? I'm gonna take this house, and I'm gonna tell the whole world that you've been abusing me. I would never hurt you, Amy. I'm against laying hands on a woman. Tell that to the world, John. You know how this always ends. Amy, I'm so shocked. And, and to think I, uh, I, I was about to surprise you with news of my promotion. The, the offer I got approved on for the Beverly Hills Mansion. I got these plane tickets to Paris to celebrate. All right, so you're telling me that you go from being just what seems to be a normal person living a normal life, and a single promotion puts you up into the Beverly Hills Mega Mansion tax bracket? Gotta say, I'm not buying it. What? Well, maybe we can forget about this argument and, and go to bed and celebrate. On the bed, where you... Everything I did for you, Amy. Every morning your sparkling water and eggs were ready before you woke up. You were the center of my life and now you're cheating on me. Stop being so dramatic. You know I don't like sensitive guys. The more I watch this, the more I realize that this was just an easy grab for views, putting Amber Heard in the title. I mean, sure, this is kind of paralleling some of the situation, but a lot of this is just general bad relationship stuff. Seems a bit cheap to me. Forget it, Amy. You're right. We are over. Why, John? I'm ready to forgive you. It's okay. Forget it, Amy. Our issues run too deep. I expect your stuff to be gone by the end of the week. Fine then, John. I'll see you in court. Have my check of millions. Ready. This isn't really about the video itself, but can we just talk for a second about how stupid it is that if someone cheats on their partner, they'll still get half of everything? Like, there are very few reasons in America that a divorce will not result in somebody losing half. Like, you can completely sabotage your relationship, ruin the other person's life, and then just for the cherry on top, take half of their belongings. Amy tried to sue John for everything. She posted fake bruises online to ruin his reputation. She lost a case as she had no evidence. As revenge, she called his work and got him fired through false accusations. John lost his job and took a while to recover from emotional trauma of a divorce. Everyone around him supported him, believing him to be the kindest person they'd met. So these two went to court and it was documented by the US federal legal system that there was no signs of abuse, but she was still able to get him fired from his job with just a phone call? Alright, makes sense. He slowly gained his confidence back and started his own business that made him more successful than ever. He was lucky enough to find true love in his life this time around. Amy? Huh? John? Who's this dumb girl? Hey, mind your tone, Amy. Anything but dumb. Brand manager of Gucci, my girlfriend. One thing you can always say about a Samir Bhavnani video is that there's not gonna be any shortage of on-the-nose plot points. The man is consistent, you've gotta respect it. Damn, CEO of Gucci? You really lucked out. What are you doing here, Amy? What happened? You ruined my life! What happened? You know, you introduced me to James, and after James found out what I did, he posted a TikTok about it, and people kept making memes of me. No one wanted to date me or hire me. Are these people supposed to be celebrities in this video? Because a lot of people are in bad relationships and do bad things in relationships. Why would anybody care about this TikTok? Unless this woman is famous, I don't think it would really matter that much. And now he's a successful YouTuber and I'm just, just here. Well, I'm sorry for you. You made me cheat on you. And you couldn't even give me one of the houses that you owned. Well, you lied about me in court and tried to take everything that I had. If you just asked nicely, if you'd apologized, I 
would have given you everything you needed. What a loser. Man, I'm sorry, John, but somebody cheats on you and poops in your bed and all you want is an apology? And you're gonna just start handing out homes? Have some respect for yourself, man. So the rest of the video is honestly just more generic how are you with a person who's a good person talk from Amy. Saying stuff like making eggs is boring. Basically just Disney Channel mean girl stuff. Not anything I'm super interested in, so I'm just gonna assume none of you guys are either. If you are, I'm truly sorry. Well, I've gotta say, I'm a bit disappointed in our experience today. I was expecting a masterpiece, and uh, it was not delivered. Much like Darman's recent Will Smith video, I feel like this was just an easy way to try and grab some views. I expected more, Samir. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and walk on over to that subscribe button, and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.